Put your hands together for Essence. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe I should have told you that I love you more often. Perhaps I should have expressed it instead of just talking. Maybe I should have thanked you more or showed you some appreciation. Should have never fooled myself into believing that I could hold you in a state of infatuation. Days racing by without you here by my side. Maybe I could have kept you had I been able to let you see me cry. Damn. <laughs> you are our queen, but I never respected your highness. I watch you cry tears until your eyes reach dryness. Time and time again you tried to warn me I'm not buying this. Now my heart breaks when I hear you say we are not behind this. Oh. Maybe I should have told you sooner that I think you're priceless. I caught a glimpse of her in my next lifetime. Her smile glistened in the backdrop of 18 sunsets. She massaged the universe in her back pocket. Her words spoke seven octaves at fever pitch, a perfect metaphor who flipped Eve off backwards. She was this incredible entity, body chiseled from mahogany wood that was dripped in honey but left to dry in the Egyptian sun. I didn't know her measurements, but they had to start with zero after one. Her broad mahogany smile dripped ancient civilizations every time she parted those rose petal lips. Shit, she is the shit. If I could die right now, resurrect myself in 23 hours just to let her know I can't live a day without her. She's the main reason why I spark an incense to reminisce about the essence that she last left in my physical presence. Wow. I'm trying hard to fight this urge to just drown in my grief. Legs won't move, tongue can't speak. Maybe I would have just believed you when you said to me, baby, please put your trust in me. But after being hurt before, my attitude became never again me. So my truest feelings you never did see. And it hurts to think about it, just said half as much with you as you shared with me. Aww. Then instead of your nightmare, maybe I could have been your dream. <laughs> maybe then we could be living ever after. <laughs> Happily. Maybe we needed this time apart to bring us back together closer. Or am I fooling myself again if I believe that you didn't mean it when you said that we're over? Maybe if I would have fought a little hard, I could have saved us. Or at least until I got it together, prolonged the breakup. Maybe I really needed this to wake up. It kills me when I think anything would have meant everything to you. Just something was all you asked for me, but it was nothing that I proved to you. Maybe you already found another to fill my shoes. Maybe in order for me to realize I had everything and all I had to lose. Tell me, can a heart still beat at this been severely bruised? Maybe time can't heal all wounds. <laughs> Maybe we could meet another life. Start this all over. Do it again twice. Now that I see you in a different light, maybe I can get a chance to make this wrong right. Maybe you are right. If I think about it, it'll come to me, then it all makes sense. Maybe then I truly understand that a fortune lost is not the same as a fortune spent, and that a little bit of time can make a whole world of difference. Damn. I should have given you your picket fence. Maybe if I would have just built us our own little home, then maybe, just maybe, I wouldn't be here saying this poem. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And like, this is an invitation to all the ladies. Like, I got erotic stuff too, right? But that's not what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if you wanna hear it, come on. <laughs> but I give you a sense because like, I got a poem that got a line that goes something like this. Let me massage your vagina with my pleasure finder. All the animals I'm seeking. I want to sip enough of your juices till I'm urinating vaginals, you creatures. Leave the one more. But this is what I want to give you because I'm seeing a lot of new faces and a lot of people never heard me. And here, I'm assuming so. Let me tell y'all why I do what I do. Yo. <laughs> if they give me time, I'll give you that poem. <laughs> I do this for all my family still living in the projects. Misguided sons, wayward daughters, mothers waiting on wick checks. 
For my nine to five brothers and my side block hustlers. I know life could be a bitch, but remember poetry loves you. Mm. Poetry embraces you, can give you an escape. Yes. Just some words of encouragement for my brothers behind them prison gates. Yes. For all the public school teachers. You know teaching is an art. For the ones that make a difference, because it's from their heart. I do this for all our fallen heroes so that they're never forgotten. Martin, Malcolm, Mega, Gandhi, the Honorable Muhammad. For every homeless person sleeping in subway cars, street sidewalks, and park benches. I know there's a soul in there. I'm trying to help pull them out the trenches. I do this for every little kid who's ever lost his fight. For every mother who's ever lost a son to the night. I do this for the freedom fight, for the passion I have inside, because the gift from God one should not hide. I do this for subway rides, ferry trips, the Statue of Liberty, the Yankees, the Giants, the Knicks, New York City. I do this because it's in me, and I figure why not share? Who said a diamond can't be found over there in the place where the urine hit the staircase? Make you feel like a disgrace to be placed in that place, but it was in that place in which his integrity was built. <laughs> Y'all better watch out for this boy. I'm turning his talent into a skill. I do this for the war as well as for the peace. We need the form and the reach the ladder, plus even a good book so there's a time for each. For my grandma, my little brother, both who passed in 87. Nana, I tried to make you proud. Just short of it talking, I'm meeting in heaven. I do this for the love to be. This was meant. And it's not about the dollars. I'm trying to make some sense. I do this because I can. And right now, I'm convinced. The only thing I can't do is write some whack shit. Something you should get smacked for this. I do this for the blackness, Afro picks with the fist. Right. I spit because many of y'all really need to hear this. I do this for Fat Albert and all my old school crews. I still remember Chico Sticks, Laffy Taffy, Charleston, and Peanut Chews. Yeah. What I got to know. So what if I drop some jewels? Y'all can pick them up later, then apply if you choose. I do this because Shania's mother smoked up her shoes. And them eyewitnesses never tell you all the news. Yeah. To let the widow know that everything will be all right. To let that father no, it's never too late to enter your child's life. I do this for my daughter, for my son, for black unity, so my mother can smile and say, that's my baby. I do this because I still remember Tag, Skelly, and Double Dutch in front of the buildings. Right. <laughs> Part it. I just never forgot those days when kids were just children. I do this for you. I do this for me. I do this because I'm addicted to poetry. I do this for the last two poets in front of the last few who chose it. To stay sitting and listen to the words being spoken. I do this because I'm hoping. No, I believe, sure enough. We will see a day when kids will say I want to be a poet when I grow up. Instead of the rapper, actor, or baller. And I pass on a pimp or the deal on the corner. Before they all are gone, I'm trying to reach a few minds and change a few hearts. And if I only move one, well, then that was my part. I do this for Rosa Parks, Coretta Scott, Mahalia Jacks, Josephine Baker, Billy Holly, Sister Betty Shabbat, to every mother, wife, sister, daughter, friend. I know there are scars in it. I'm trying to help the healing begin. Because the journey of a thousand miles begins with step one. Because there are eyes that will see and ears that will hear. I do this because it just needs to be done. <laughs>